There it is. Nice. Oh my. I just caught a largemouth by hand. Oh, oh, that was a snake just fell in. Well, it's definitely that time of the year where I target the bass, shallow, and creeks that are close to the lake or, or maybe coming out of creeks that are close to a bigger water where they're just, they don't have far to go, but they get up in these little holes to try to feed up and um, try to get fatter. We haven't had a lot of rain this summer um, yet. So a lot of these creeks are really low. I don't know if there's gonna be as many bass up in here and uh, hopefully I can find a few. There we go. There we go. This hole has some bass in it. There's two, three of them up in there. That's what I'm looking for. Boom, that's it. A little skinny. It's kind of what I expect. Yep, skinny, large mouth trying to fatten up up in the creek. There's a bass sitting right there. Oh, there's a, they're in here. Dude, one, two, three, four bass just sitting, sitting on the bottom. Just, it's really weird how they're sitting like that. They're not even moving. I think it may be so hot, they're not even coming out. Holy cow, look at that large mouth right there. Did I spook him back here? I'm gonna be able to catch him by hand. He is all beat up. How do they get through this water like that? Oh my, I just caught a large mouth by hand. No tricks, picked it out of the water. He's got some claw marks in him. Something grabbed him. Some kind of bird, all right. Getting back in a little bit deeper pool. Go. I caught more by hand than I have on my lures. Well, one and one. One and one. There were several in this whole pool up here I just fished and couldn't get the bite. All right. They, when they're shallow, they are really shallow. There we go. Oh no. Just lost a good one. What? Oh, I took my worm. Guess he never even had the hook part in his mouth. All right, come on. There's like four or five fish right there. Now I'm saying, oh, here we go. This one might come get it. Yep, eat it, eat it all the way, eat it all the way. He's got it in his mouth. There it is. Oh my goodness, he took a minute to eat it. He picked that thing up, swam about three or four feet, then got it in his mouth. See, these aren't tiny little bass as far as like little bitty creek bass. These are decent, like not the healthiest looking. These down here anyways. Some of these bass in here have been really good ones. That's a, don't know what happened to that one. That was a weird looking one. But big enough mouths and just, I guess they're real lethargic, just even just cause of the hot weather.
It looks like it's about to rain a good one. Storm's coming in. Hopefully it rains. Hopefully that creek fills up. The fish just were not active. I saw them in there and they were not going out of their way to bite anything. They were sitting really still. I think partly because they're they just need some more water flowing through there. Bring some different food to them. Get them going. I'm trying to throw this popper, but it's it's pretty lightweight. Oh, there we go. I want to try it out. Start out with it. And I've been practicing on my bait cast skills, getting a lot better at casting lures. And this rod's a 610 medium heavy, so it's not too long. Oh, I'm getting a little better. I'm trying to. This, light, this lure here is pretty light. There it is. Nice. Oh, it's a good bass. Okay, okay. Oh man, he's solid. He is solid. Took two casts in there and then he thumped it. That's what I wanted to see. That's exactly how I wanted to see it. And that's a nice bass. Oh my. What's the... Still, come here, come here. Dude. Check that out. Oh. I saw that Rebel Pop R, that color, that like perch looking color. I was like, I gotta get that. I gotta try it out. Oh, that's a good two pound largemouth. Good fish. Oh, yes. Thank you for the jump. I'm standing here on the bank of the Hawassi River, and um, I kind of went up to check a spot and the upper part of the river is really muddy from a lot of rain but the lower part is pretty clear because there's a uh, powerhouse that discharges clear water in and the water's up a little bit so um there's a bunch of fish coming up in these little there's a couple little creeks that are like you know some calm areas and i'm hoping to find a couple bass but also i might try to catch some panfish i don't know about these gar maybe it's, maybe snag one of these gar or two There's a, there's a few gar and there's a bunch of, I think there's suckers over there, but sometimes the bass will mix in with those. That's what I'm kind of hoping. So I don't want to spook anything off. Try to cast over there and see if there's any bass sitting out. Oh, we get a gar to bite at this. Oh, yeah, there we go. I just saw my lure disappear. I didn't even know he was there. It's a large mouth or a spot. I can't tell. There's a little small mouth right behind him. He's just following it. Okay. Oh, that's not a bad fish. He was there. I just cast it up there. I didn't see nothing. That is one pale looking large mouth though. All right, that's what we're looking for. We're looking for just a few bass. Coming out, there's the river and it's flowing pretty good. So these fish are kind of get out of the current. At least they do, they like to do that sometimes. I've found them. But if there was a fish in there, I think, what was that? Oh no, no. Stuck on this branch. Oh, there's a whole bunch of suckers right there. Sucker fish. There's a bunch of little fish in here too. I might have to come back through here with my little little lure in a minute. Oh, oh, that was a snake just fell in. I'll try to point that out whenever I see snakes because um, I get asked a lot about snakes. And a lot of times I hear that, I hear something fall. Oh, there's another one. Oh, there's a bunch of, oh man. Those may be poisonous snakes actually. Dude, check this out. There, one just fell out of a tree. So I just looked over and saw a snake fall out of a tree. Then I looked back in there. Take a closer look. Look at that. 
I can't zoom any further with my phone. Somebody gotta tell me what those are, because those are dark looking and they're big. And my lure is stuck right there where those snakes are. And there's a bass under it. There's a little bass right there too. Oh, there's two bass. Look at those bass. I don't know if you can see them. That little, that little bush right there. Oh, that one's about to jump in. That little bush right here. It's just holding all kinds of life. I really want to get my lure back. Dude, these snakes, look at that one. They don't look friendly. That's a big snake right there. Well, I don't usually see this many snakes. I'm tugging on their uh, house over here that they're sitting in. So this is probably creeping people out. I'm actually a little nervous from this. They may just be regular. Uh... Oh, there's two snakes in that nest. There's two snakes right there. And then one snake right there. There's two on top of each other. Brownish looking one. And then like a light brown. All right, I gotta get my lure out. I don't really want them to jump in the water, but I think I can get my lure back without causing a problem. They are really watching me. I don't really want to get any closer. I don't even care if they are non-poisonous. Got my lure back. Okay, let's get one more close up before I move off. Oh, got one. He pulled me up under a tree. These snakes over here are still sitting there. It's crazy how there's just so much different stuff going on. There's little bass, little sunfish, all these red horse suckers, I think they are. And then these, those snakes that eat any, any of these fish, they're pretty good size. They can get a good size snake in there. Oh, a good size fish in their mouth, I think. Uh oh, come on. I saw that fish come get it. There we go, small mouth. Well, you know what? I'm glad I stopped at this little spot. I haven't even walked more than 20 feet and I've already caught a bunch of fish. Saw some awesome snakes. That's a nice little smallie. So people ask me, do small mouth like this lure? And I'm like, yeah, they'll eat it too. That one, I wonder, it may be a pure smallmouth. He almost looks a little bit like maybe a hybrid. Alrighty, let's switch to the little, little rod. I got a, like a little one inch swim bait thing on there. Yeah, snagged it perfectly. Oh, oh, it broke me off. Man, I perfectly snagged that that sucker. I waited for him to go over my lure and I jerked it up. I was trying to get one in. Don't fish on. Oh, he took me right in the rocks. What is that? Wow, that's a nice, whoa. What a nice red breast. Yeah, it's super colorful there. Okay. Well, we'll hit one more spot. It's a creek that runs into the lake. It's kind of where it starts getting backed up. It's usually really clear. It's a little bit up. I think it's just because the lake's up. 
But this, man, I've seen some, sometimes there's a lot of good fish in here. Oh, come on, eat it. Got it. I got one, I got something. I got something. He hit it two or three times. What is that? Oh, it's a solid spotted bass. Threw my bait off. Go down there and get it. It's all right. Okay, this guy's further upstream than I even realized the creek went. That's, that's something new that I've, I don't know why I haven't ever tried it right here before. I know it's a trout area, but it's a good little creek bass. Oh, look at all those minnows. A ton of bait fish up here. How's it not at least one hungry, decent sized bass right there? Oh, there was, and I got him. <laughs> I thought I had a hit. I had like a hit and then it like came off. Right, there's like a little pocket right for that flow coming in. And let's see what we got here. I throw my lure. Got a large mouth there. Well, we've hopped around a few places and been able to catch a few fish today. Not bad. And I got my lure back. Well, thanks for watching today. I didn't really have a, a really big plan and like a goal. I just went out, you know, this afternoon. It was probably, I didn't probably get out till three or four o'clock. Just uh, hit a couple spots, kind of see what was available to wait. I didn't want to go kayaking. I didn't really want to go to a creek because most of them are muddy. Hit up two or three spots, explored some new stuff and um, found out some new stuff. Saw some interesting stuff with the snakes. Really good afternoon. Uh, didn't catch a ton of fish, but I did catch fish and did learn things and I did explore new areas. So. Even though I have tons and tons of places where I feel like are really good fishing holes and really good spots to kayak, really good spots to wade or go fish, I still, even within this place, within 20, 30 minutes of my house, I still am trying to find and go into all the new places, trying to hit everything I can hit and just to see what you come across. You never know what you're gonna come across. You always gotta keep out, keep exploring, keep getting out there and just fishing and having fun with it. Thanks for watching.